Hey guys, welcome back to Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure. Last we left off, we got the Nimbus Cloud and we beat one of those crazy werewolf bear monsters and we saved Turtle. But in return, we got a Dragon Ball and we got the Nimbus Cloud. So next we're up at Oolong's Village, so let's get right into it. And so, the next place that Goku and Bulma arrived at was a small village which was being terrorized by the dreadful Oolong. Uh-oh. Goku was asked by the village to get rid of Oolong in exchange for their Dragon Ball. And so he ended up fighting Oolong. He's a pig. <laughs> However, he quickly saw through Oolong's transformation technique. It was revealed that Oolong was very much a weakling, and then... Rats, at this point, the only thing I can do is run away. I can't do the dub, the dub Dragon Ball Oolong voice. <laughs> hey, wait. As Oolong ran away in panic, the scene moves up into the air. Flying Nimbus. Flying Nimbus. Check it out. Look at the sprite work in this. So good. Yahoo. Yikes. So this here, I will show you the easiest way to beat Oolong, and it's just that down B, you know, dive kick that I was telling you guys about in the last episode. Ha ha ha, you can't get away from me! So, if you just keep doing that over and over, because this is just gonna kinda get you right close to him, he's gonna flash there. When you see him glowing, that's when he's about to do an attack. But it's very straightforward, very easy. As far as he hasn't transformed yet, he will transform... Oh, there we go. I actually want to showcase this. <laughs> Hit me with your... Oh, nope, he's doing that. Uh-oh. See? <laughs> I have to showcase that sprite. Oh, okay, fine, do it again. Goku's butt being burnt. It's funny. And it's Kid Goku, he's cute. Oh. Oh. Oh, I just got him with that last attack there. Yeah, there's Oolong. So that, uh, your spinny power pull attack, your super attack, I guess, that, that comes in handy for sure on that, because you can get bombarded by those pterodactyl guys and, you know, Oolong's shooting his fire, he's trying to drill you up the butt, like, that sounded wrong, I apologize. <laughs> I give up. Please forgive me. You really are awfully weak, aren't you? Now you, now you make sure you apologize to the villagers. Yeah, and give back the girls that you kidnapped. In the anime, he kidnapped some girls from the village and he wanted to marry a girl. Goku disguises himself as one of the village girls that Oolong wants to marry, but it turns out that he's actually, they're living in like a life of luxury and yeah, he's like, take them away. I don't, they cost me too much money or whatever. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I won't cause any more trouble. Haha, -ha, but thanks to you, we were lucky enough to get a Dragon Ball. Look, it's a six-star ball. Okay, let's go look for the next ball right away. And so, having gotten the Dragon Ball, Goku and Bulma force Oolong to join them. Yep, so we got Oolong on our team now. And once again, head off to their next destination. So that's a very, very quick, quick level. It's just, you do the sky battle, that's it. And there's not much to it, so we'll double this one up. So, we're in the wilderness now. What's going on in the wilderness? Let's find out. Oh, who's this guy? Check it out, it's Yamcha and Poir. Yamcha in his bandit clothing, Poir just chilling with him, and Goku acting all cute. <laughs> Yo! Who are you? Ha! I'm Yamcha, the hyena of the wilderness. If you want to get out of here alive, Hand over any money or capsules you have. Hmm. Well, hand them over now. I'm so hungry. Miserable idiots. Fine then, here I go. So this is a pretty interesting fight because it's the only one in the game where it's still utilizing the side-scroller beat-em-up fighting mechanics. 
Whereas in certain fights, like in the tournament areas and other boss fights, like with, you know, let's say King Piccolo, it will go into a traditional fighting game kind of mechanic. So I don't know why they didn't do that with this. Um, I'm not too sure, <laughs> but let's get right to it. This is a pretty cool fight. So when he's charging up like that right there, he is trying to do his Wolf Fang Fist or his Ruru Ken. Is it Ruru Ken in Japanese? I'm, I'm sorry if I, I cannot remember. Yoga! <laughs> Yeah, and see, and he even has his uh, his rocket launcher. Well, watch out for Quar and his bombs. Whoa! He's gonna try and get me with. I wonder if I can deflect his bomb back. Oh, I can. <laughs> oh. That was pretty cool. I didn't actually know I could do that. <laughs> Far crying. Sorry, Yamcha. What? You're through already? That was dolls. He just ran away. He actually runs away because he's winning the fight because Goku's only... He's just hungry. And he sees Bulma. She wakes up. And he's like, oh my god, it's a girl, and he can't look at girls or talk to them. He freezes up, so, uh, yeah, then Poir takes him away. That's why he loses and runs off. He looked like quite a fine man, though. Yeah, they start. this is when they start to develop their, their on-screen, you know, romance together up until Vegeta. We don't have time for this. We're off to the Fire Mountain. Fire Mountain, you say? Jeez, why do I have to go too? Saving, do not turn off the power. Look at that, Fire Mountain. Alrighty guys, so we did two levels here that are pretty straightforward. So it showcased the sky battle in a pretty weird battle because it's the only one in this game where it's like that. The rest of the, the time when you do these kind of one-on-one -on -one fights, it's in this separate kind of like 1v1 you know fighting game type of engine it's it's quite cool so we'll get to that at one point very soon in the coming episodes but the next one is fire mountain and i think we'll we'll do this one and then we'll leave off this episode goku and the others last arrive at fire mountain it was said that the ferocious ox king lived in the castle on the mountain Look at this scary silhouette. He looks good there. However, it turned out that the Ox King was a pupil of Master Roshi. And so, in exchange for the Dragon Ball that he had, he sent Goku to ask Master Roshi to come and extinguish the fire in his castle. When Master Roshi arrived, he got himself ready right away. Ka me ha me ah. He did a superb job of putting out the fire in the castle, which is Kamehameha Wave. Wow, we That's an amazing technique, old timer. Teach me how to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to train for 50 years before you can learn to do the Kamehameha Wave. That's how they would say it in the dub or Kamehameha. Kamehameha. <laughs> Well, okay, I doubt it will do any good, but I guess I could show you. I love this part. And this is the only time we actually see Bulma in um, pixelized form, I believe. And you get to see Oolong not falling out of a, from the sky. And Master Roshi, they look fantastic. It's, it's so good. Okay, so to do the Kamehameha, you have to store your energy and then release it all at once. Press the R button to store up your energy and release it. Okay, try it now. Okay, old timer, ready? K 
Just exactly who are you? <laughs> so I love that. It's, it's quite cool that you actually get to... They, they show you how to do it right there. But if you saw there, it was just like a little fireball. So it's quite cool. It's a cool mechanic for this game. Is the, the further we get in the game, it's actually going to build... Uh, we will build our key bars. So we'll get to a point where we can unleash a full power blue traditional looking Kamehameha. And... It's devastating. It's really, really cool. So you're Gohan's grandson, are you? By the way, how is Gohan getting along? Grandpa, Grandpa died a long time ago. He what? I see. Hmm. How about you come to my house? I'll train you. Really? Okay. After I get all the Dragon Balls together, I'll come right over. I found it. The Seven Star Ball. Okay, Goku. Let's go find the last Dragon Ball. You're leaving? Well, come back and see me sometime. Yeah, I'll be back. Take care of yourself. Yeah, it's quite cool. I, I love how the they explain the story quite well. It's very basic, but you get the idea of what happens in the original Dragon Ball. So this basically ends the first arc. Or, I guess if Dragon Ball's, this would have been its final run. Um, I believe in, if the manga didn't wasn't successful, but... Oh, it, it, it was successful, all right. It was beyond the success I think Toriyama ever dreamed to, or dreamed of, and, and believed that it would be. So this is Pilaf's Castle. In the next episode, we're gonna dive right into that, and there's a lot of shenanigans here. We get some some more of those enemies, and we get some cata some or cata catacombs. I guess we're in the catacombs. We're in Pilaf's weird kind of puzzle castle, and uh, we can find some different secrets here. And there's homages to even Indiana Jones with rolling balls we have to run from, and all that good stuff. So until next time, guys. This is Dragon Ball Advance Adventure, and peace out.